Hey guys, how you doing? It's 8 Eric. Welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year. We're going to talk some Xbox news. So, not only has the PlayStation 5 been a huge focus of demand for gamers in recent weeks, but the Xbox Series X is also kind of hard to find. And people are wanting to know, hey, when is there going to be more Xbox drops? When is there going to be more PlayStation drops? When is there going to be more, you know, consoles that we could buy? Because some people still haven't gotten one. Um... Head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, is on another round of uh, media interviews and stuff. And I love when he talks to the fans. I love when he gives information because it's always just so insightful and interesting to hear what he has to say. So we're going to read this thing from Game Rant. It's an excerpt from an interview that he had with, um, with a um, podcast, which is known as Xbox Live uh, with M Major Nelson. Um he kind of hinted at this situation. So, Phil Spencer, let's see what he has to say. And if you're not subscribed yet, guys, click that subscription button. Let me get a sip of my Diet Coke from McDonald's. McDonald's saying a brain deal. You owe me money. I was <laughs> joking. All right, so here we go. Head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, promises more Xbox Series X consoles are constantly being built. Head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, discusses the scarcity of the Xbox Series X and S. And promises that consoles are constantly being built. So, yeah, this is, he's addressing, you know, how much stock is out there, how often are they producing them, stuff like that. So it says, head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, has been a busy man leading up to and through the launch of the Xbox Series X and S. While the launch of the next gen console has been seen as a success, scarcity is something that has been difficult to deal with for many. Is an issue that Spencer has tackled head on multiple times. And in a recent interview, he talked about the fact that his team is constantly working on building more consoles for consumers. So he's saying, yes, he knows the scarcity, not only for the consumer, but also for the, for the Xbox brand, the lack of consoles out there is a problem and they're tackling it on. It's difficult to deal with. They're constantly working on building more consoles so it says, in a podcast with Xbox Live's Larry Herb, also known as Major Nelson, who recently unveiled an Xbox Live Series X Jenga set. I need to see that. <laughs> I might pick that up. Spencer talked about the difficulty of staying ahead of demand with the Xbox Series X and S. It is a good problem to have fans lining up at the door, both physically and online, to purchase an item. But Spencer would like to be able to produce the consoles at a faster pace. And yeah, ideally... You would definitely like to have them produce at a faster pace. That way, more get sold. So Spencer talks about the fact that fans often ask him questions about why Xbox has not made consoles faster, why the company did not start making console earlier, why more consoles are not being built, and so on. Spencer says Xbox is not holding anything back, and the team is working as fast as it can. In the past, it had been communicated that the Xbox Series X shortages will continue through early 2021 and that seems to still be the case so he says spencer says in the podcast that it comes down to physics and engineering the team is building consoles as fast as it can in fact a few days ago spencer thanked xbox team members for working over the holidays ensuring that things like xbox live are up and running so they were working through the holidays good on them with assembly lines in place and teams working hard, Spencer said he appreciates the patience of those who are waiting for their own console. He also notes that this is not simply a problem for Xbox, as the PS5 shortage issue is ongoing too. It is clear that the demand for the next generation of consoles is something that supply cannot handle this time. And it cannot, guys. It's ridiculous how, how, how in demand these consoles are. I don't recall this ever happening. I, I, I see how chaotic... Things have been since the pre-orders went live. Um, how chaotic things get when there's random drops and with all the scalpers and everything. We've been covering all this chaos. This is unreal. I don't know if maybe the pandemic contributes to the situation as well. But it's just been pretty crazy, guys. So it says one thing that could help is putting a ban on scalping, which the UK is working on. So we covered that. Some lawmakers have proposed... Um, making scalping and the use of scout bots and anything sold with scout bots buying them an illegal transaction 
If that goes through, that will be a game changer, definitely in the UK. It seems like the UK has a lot of issues with this scalping problem. I mean, there's people doing Fast and the Furious style robberies. There's retail places um, selling for huge marked up prices. There's Amazon UK delivery truck drivers stealing people's birthday presents. People are getting cat litter in the mail. It seems like the UK has been a, a, a cluster when it comes to these PS5 consoles. I've, I've covered every single thing that we mentioned. It says, if fewer individuals took advantage of online infrastructure on buying sites, purchasing dozens and even hundreds of consoles only to mark them up for a major profit, perhaps more consumers would be able to enjoy the consoles at the standard retail price. Hopefully the shortage issue will be taken care of soon for both the Series X, S, and PS5. So, yeah. That is the consensus right now. Of course, Phil Spencer, is he saying a blanket statement? Is it easy for you know Microsoft to just be like, yeah, guys, we're working on making more? Yeah, it, it honestly does sound like a blanket statement, in my opinion. It's it's not exactly damage control, but just you know, giving the consumers what they want to hear. Uh, am I is, is he telling the truth? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're working hard to get more consoles manufactured so they could drop them all at once and, and provide, you know, retail stores and stuff. But it still looks like the foreseeable future is going to be hard to get one of these things, whether it's a PlayStation 5, whether it's a Series X. I know people are reporting Series S's are showing up, you know, in, in thrift stores and stuff like that. So, you know, there's that. But as far as like the main consoles, the Series X and the PlayStation 5 itself, um, it doesn't look like this is going to ease up anytime soon, especially for the PlayStation 5. The Series X might be a little easier to get here in the near future, but, you know, every time there's a drop for any of these consoles, they're like that. And they're not announcing them. Uh, you'll find them out last minute. You'll see if you sign up for Twitch or Twitter alerts from different, you know, Twitter users. They'll be like, hey, stock is up at Best Buy. And it's like, if you're not literally watching Twitter at that second, you're going to miss out. So I, I can assume, you know, Phil Spencer is kind of just saying what, he, what people want to hear. But at the same time, these companies are working hard to get these consoles ready. I, I Again, I've never recalled a, a console launch that was as hectic or crazy as this where... There was not enough supply out there. It used to be where you could just put down money at GameStop and you'd be able to get your 64 or your GameCube or your PS2 or your PS3 with no worries at all. But now it's like they're limiting the pre-orders. They're limiting the stock. It's The websites can't even handle the traffic. It's, it's crazy. But anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Thanks a lot. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't, guys. Help get me to 80,000 subscribers as my next goal. I'm like 200 away, 300 away. So I'd appreciate it if I earned your subscription. Thanks a lot, guys.